Alright guys, so I was going to wait for the cards to come in to do this deck profile, but I'm just too excited about it. What's up Yugi nerds, it's your boy Reaper here, and today I have a pretty fun deck, uh, that I believe it's a fun deck for you guys. Um, it is Wicked Stall. Alright. So basically, the primary objective of this deck is to get your uh, to get your big boys, your wicked avatar, and your wicked eraser out on the field as quickly as possible, um, but also be able to stall your opponent until you're able to actually get them on the field. So uh, let's go ahead and get right on into this deck. Uh, I do want to go ahead and mention that uh, it is a casual play deck. This this isn't really a meta style deck, um, but I. I came up with the idea, it, it sounded fun, it looked fun, I uh, put it together and played some test hands with it, played some, some test duels with it, and it turned out to be a lot of fun as I thought it would be. So let's go ahead and get right on into this deck profile. Um, please make sure you give this video a like, please make sure you comment, share, subscribe if you're not already, hit that notification bell so that way you guys know whenever we post new content. Alright guys, let's do this. Alright, so starting off, we have one, the Wicked Dreadroot. Um, cannot be special summoned, must be normal summoned or set by tributing three monsters. The attack and defense of all other monsters on the field are halved. Uh, I only run, uh, run one of this because I don't really see the need in running more than just one. Um, to me, I feel like it would, like, the effect is decent, but I feel like it doesn't really help out the way that, you know, the Wicked Eraser or the Wicked Avatar do. So, um, uh, I do run two Mikeon the Time Lord. Um, cannot be special summoned from the deck. If you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You take no, ba uh, no battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the battle phase of this card uh, battled, have your opponent's life points. Once per turn, during your standby phase, shovel this card into the deck. Uh, I think a lot of people are really sleeping on the Time Lords. Uh, to me, the Time Lords are really good, especially Mikeon and Raphion here. But just to be able, like, if you have no board, you have no monsters on the field, you are able to just normal summoning, uh, normal summon this card without tributing. You take no battle damage, uh, and it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So, like, you normal summon this, you swing into anything. Like, all it says is if this card battles, your opponent's life points are halved. This card can swing into an uh, opponent's empty board, and they go from 8,000 to 4,000, or from 4,000 to 2,000, and so on. And it can't be destroyed by battle. And then uh, at the beginning of your next standby phase, it gets shuffled back into the deck if your opponent wasn't able to destroy it. That's crazy to me. So uh, next we do have Raffi on the Time Lord has a similar effect, but um, with, with this card it is at the end of the battle phase of this card battle to inflict damage to your to your opponent equal to the attack of one monster your opponent controls that battled this turn. So if you if you normal summon this card out, it stays on the field. Your opponent tries to swing into it, not really knowing what it does. Well, guess what? If they swing into it with a big boy. Uh, try to go trying to go for game well I'm not gonna take battle damage it's not gonna get destroyed and then you're dealing your opponent the uh, that, that big boy damage and then at the, the beginning of your next standby phase it gets shuffled back into the deck again like that's just it's crazy the Time Lord mechanic is just absolutely insane it is nutty I'm 100% for it so next we do have three copies of the Wicked Avatar um, cannot be special summoned, must be normal summoned or set by tributing three monsters. If this card is normal summoned, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards until the end of their second turn after this, uh, uh, after, after this effect's activation. This card's attack and defense are equal to the highest attack on the field, plus 100, except the Wicked Avatar. So, your, your opponent's sitting on a 45k beater, you, you, special, like, you, you get this you get this monster out on the field, guess what? It's a 46. So it automatically is able to go over the highest attack, which is really cool to me. Next we have three, the Wicked Eraser. 
Um, cannot be special summon, must be normal summon or set by tributing three monsters. This card's effect, uh, th this card's attack and defense are equal to the number of cards your opponent controls times a thousand. During your main phase, you can destroy this card. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, destroy all cards on the field. So, not only does this card gain a thousand attack for each card that your opponent controls, that's each card. If they have back row, if they have a field spell, if they have monsters on board, Wicked Racer gets a thousand attack and defense for each of them. So you go into battle phase, you take out a couple of their monsters, guess what? Main phase two, you can destroy, like, cause it says during your main phase. It doesn't specify main phase one, main phase two. As long as you are in main, uh, in main phase, you can destroy this card and destroy all cards on the field. Like, say this is your only boy on the field. Your opponent still has some back row that you're kind of worried about, that you're kind of nervous about. Guess what? You go into battle. You take care of some of their monsters. Clear the way. Or, I mean, if you just don't want to deal with it in general, you summon him, you destroy him, and then you just nuke the entire board, back row and all. That's insane. That's insane. Uh, next, we do have three copies of Re uh, Reactor Slime. Um, during your main phase, you can activate this effect. Special summon two slime tokens. Aqua Water, level 1. Attack, 500. Defense, 500. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Divine Beast monsters. During the battle phase, quick effect, you contribute this card. Set one Metal Reflect Slime from your uh, hand, deck, or graveyard. It can be activated this turn. Uh, you can only use each effect of Reactor Slime once per turn. I do not use... Uh, Metal Reflect Slime in this deck, so that, that effect's kind of not relevant. However, it does help you get tributable bodies on board, so that's cool. Uh, so for the stall mechanic here, we do run three copies of each on the Cubic Seed, um, because strictly he cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, he, he does have another effect at the end of the damage step. If this card battled an opponent's monster, you can place this card face up on your uh, in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card. And if you do, place one cubic counter uh, on that opponent's monster. Monsters with a cubic counter cannot attack, also negate their effects. If this card is treated as a continuous spell card by this effect during your main phase, you can special summon this card uh, from the spell trap card zone. Now, typically, you're not really going to be using that part of the effect. You can. You can definitely use it. Um, but I typically like to throw these in defense position on my field. Uh, and just kind of leave them as a barrier because, I mean, if they're in defense, you're not taking any battle damage. And if it can't be destroyed by battle, guess what? You got a wall. You just got a wall of V-Joms stalling you until you contribute out for one of your big boys. Um, next, we do have three battle faders. Um, when an opponent's monster declares an, uh, declares an direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, then in the battle phase. So, like, if they declare an direct attack, guess what? Special summon, battle phase over, main phase two, what you got? Um, however, if this card is summoned this way, banish it when it leaves the field. So, I mean, your opponent declares a direct attack, you special summon it in defense position. They, they have to end their battle phase. It's, to me, it's a really good stall card. I, I think a lot of people have forgotten about Battle Fader, um, which is just kind of, like, kind of sad because Battle Fader is a very useful card in certain situations. Um, next, we do have three copies of Scape Ghost. Uh, flip Summon, it has a flip effect. You can special summon any number of black sheep tokens. Zombie, Dark, level 1, attack 0, defense 0. Um, also, very useful for getting bodies on the board in order for you to special summon out your big boys, or normal summon, tribute summon out your big boys. Um, we also get... Uh, we also have one Raigeki, which destroys all monsters your opponent controls. Like I said, we're trying to stall here. So if you're if you're in a in a bind and it's looking like the the tables are not in your favor, guess what? Just just nuke their board. Nothing better than a board nuke. Um, we do have one Harpy's Feather Duster, which is Raigeki for the back row. Um, fantastic for spell trap removal. Uh, we do have three copies of Swords of Revealing Light. Like I said, this is a wicked stall deck. So we are basically just trying to buy ourselves any kind of time in order to set up our board so we can get into our big wicked monsters. Um, 
We do have one terraforming, which will be our search card for a for our field spell, Mystic Mine. Yes, we do run one Mystic Mine. I'm sorry, I know Mystic Mine is a boo card, but when you're trying to stall, it it is one of the best cards to stall. And you know, there there's also the 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 chance that you're going to sit down across an opponent who isn't really prepared for Mystic Mine, at least in game one. So, I mean, it's, to me, to me, it's a, it's a good choice. Uh, we do run the one called by the grave, um, just just to kind of help uh, prevent prevent an opponent's play here and there, especially if they're running duplicate copies of stuff. Um, now we do run three the monarchs the monarchs Stormforth. So uh, once during this turn, if you attribute a monster for a tribute summon, you can tribute one monster your opponent controls, even though you do not control it. You can only activate one the Monarch Stormforth during uh, per turn. During the turn you activate this card, you cannot special sum uh, special summon monsters from your extra deck. Well, uh, if you take a gander down here, we don't really have an extra deck to worry about. Uh, while test playing this deck, the Monarch Stormforth managed to help me. Uh, tribute my opponent's monster who who managed like my opponent managed to get a Xyz monster on the field uh, and, and it had 11,000 attack they managed to get that monster to 11,000 attack well thanks to Vjom the cubic seed not taking battle damage for me being able to stall um, and the monarch storm forth I was able to tribute that 11,000 beater for uh, my wicked eraser I was able to do that. So the Monarch Stormforth seems just like a very good card because like if your opponent has a big boy on the field, uh, let's let's tribute that for our big boy, you know? Uh, next we do have one Metaverse. Uh, Metaverse is basically just an additional search card to get you Mystic Mine um, in case that you're not able to see it or draw into it. If you, if you need that stall, Metaverse will help you get you that stall. Um, next we do run three Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Once again, another card that I feel like has has been forgotten about. Um, I used to run this a lot uh, back in my earlier days of Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I I think it's a really good card. Um, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate the attack, and also after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. So it is literally a reoccurring, like it's a reoccurring defense, like. Your your opponent act, like, tries to attack you. Guess what? No, nope. we're we're going to negate that attack. It doesn't go to the graveyard. I'm just going to set it for so next turn when you try to attack. You know, you you, you got to think about if you're going to try to destroy it, out it, or uh, or just keep having an attack. You know, negated every turn. Um, and we do also run two anti spell fragrance. Um, primarily because, like, I know I know that I run spells in this deck. I know that spells are useful in my deck. However, there really isn't one that I wouldn't be able to just set and activate at a later time. So, I mean, if I have anti-spell fragrance, then my opponent can't really do anything either. They have to set them before. They have to sit on it, which gives me time to you know set mine, activate them, and try to get a leg up on my opponent. Because who, who, wants, who wants their opponent to activate spells? Who wants to let our opponent go in and uh, activate spells freely? I don't. Not when you're trying to stall to get out your big boys here on the field. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this deck uh, in, uh, down below. Um, I, like I said, I, I was really excited about it. I think it works. I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. And it also kind of gives light to uh, the, the Wicked the wicked archetype um i i haven't seen anybody use them and like with king's court you know that just came out it's really cool just to see these these cards again you know so i wanted to wanted to put them to use uh the wicked avatar used to be a really fun card for me back in the day as well and not to mention like it it, it showcases you know some of these older cards that are really good at stalling you know it, it, it brings some new life to the game again. It brings some old cards back in, into today's game. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this deck down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!